very simple in its construction, but there is a very high engineering in this simple device. So whenever we read the oil level inside the tank, we shall record the temperature. This indicator will be fixed on the side of the wall of the transformer tank. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The oil inside the tank of oil fill distribution transformer has two main functions. One of them is cooling, the other is insulation. These are the two main functions. There are other functions. We discussed them in the episode about the transformer oil. But the most important two functions of this oil inside this tank of the transformer are these two things, cooling and insulation. The amount of oil inside the tank will be decided based on the transformer rating and size. This amount of oil inside the tank has to be kept within acceptable range between a minimum and maximum and if the amount of oil decreases based on some leak or some other things this will reduce the cooling the transformer will get heated also it will affect the insulation level and if the amount of oil decreases significantly this will lead to the breakdown of the insulation which will result in corona or flashover, which will initiate fire inside the tank. Fire will heat the oil, explosive gases will be produced, and the tank will be definitely subjected to explosion. Also, from the other hand, if the amount of oil increases, this will prevent the transformer from breathing, and during operation, when the oil gets heated, it will expand, and the pressure will be built up inside the transformer. There will be excess pressure inside the tank of the transformer. For these reasons, the oil level inside the tank has to be monitored. And if we want to take a step further, in addition to this monitoring, we can provide like micro switch, which will give alarm signal, or will trip the breaker to prevent the failure of the transformer. Monitoring of the oil level inside the transformer can be achieved in so many ways. There are maybe more than 10 ways to measure the level of the oil inside the transformer or the liquid level in general. It can be through transparent glass. It can be through pressure transducer at the floor of the tank, which will convert this pressure based on the oil level to an electrical signal, which will give reading for the oil level inside the tank. It can be done by simple mechanical switch. It can be done by laser beam or microwave beam or infrared camera or many other things. But the most popular device used in distribution transformer is the magnetic oil level indicator. Magnetic oil level indicator is simple in its construction, like this one. It consists of a float with its arm connected to a reading dial. And the float position will be reflected to the reading. When the oil level goes low, this will be read as low level till it hits the minimum. And in the other direction, if the oil level is high, it will be read as high level till it hits the maximum. Magnetic oil level indicator, as we can see, very simple in its construction, but there is a very high engineering in this simple device. Let's see how. Let's start from the float end. This float is supposed to be at the top of oil level and also at the bottom of the air level. Sometimes this will be air, sometimes it will be nitrogen. In order to be able to do this, it has to have specific gravity between the oil and the air. Let's call it the head space above the oil. This is the first thing. Second thing, 
it has to have resistance against mineral oil. Third thing, this transformer is subjected to high temperature. So this float has to withstand high temperatures, 120, 130, or maybe more. Then there is the rod connecting the float to the spindle. This rod, sometimes they call it the float arm, or the stem, or the lever. It's made of brass to withstand the same environmental condition inside the tank of the transformer. This lever is connected to a spindle and to a magnet inside this indicator. And this magnet, a driving magnet, will drive another magnet which will move the pointer. This is the magnetic coupling. And the benefit from this magnetic coupling is that there is complete isolation between the oil inside the tank and the outside atmosphere. If there is any leak happened here in this glass or in the seal, this will not allow the oil to leak from inside the tank to the outside atmosphere. This indicator will be fixed on the side of the wall of the transformer tank and there is a rubber seal here. This housing is made of die-cast aluminium and it can withstand high temperatures and high pressure. Because as we said, this transformer is supposed to withstand small over pressure. So normally this housing will withstand up to 120 degrees centigrade and up to 0.5 bar. 0.5 bar is almost half the atmospheric pressure. So to withstand this tough environmental conditions, it's made from injected or like cast aluminium and it's powder painted. And here, this transparent window is made of polycarbonate. Polycarbonate, ultraviolet, stabilized. It was normally if the polycarbonate is not UV stabilized, it will get yellowish with time. This polycarbonate glass is fixed through clamp to fix it in place and also it is sealed by this rubber sealant. The pointer itself is made from brass. Always when we talk about brass, brass is an alloy made from copper and zinc and has good corrosion resistance. It's white painted, white painted the pointer and the script here on a black background which will make the visibility easy. Also notice here it's written plus 30 degrees centigrade because this oil as we explained earlier is liquid, incompressible. So when it gets heated it will expand, the oil level will increase. So if we want to check the oil level here at this acceptable range, this should be at around 30 degrees. So whenever we read the oil level inside the tank, we shall record the temperature. This oil level is related to the temperature. So for example, if the oil level here at the acceptable range, but the temperature was, let's say, 55 degrees, this means that the oil level is low because this 55 degrees means the oil expanded and it has to read more oil level by this oil level indicator, like this for example. 